Okie dokie, it's a Friday. Yes, it is. Hi. <laughs> you made it all the way to Friday, Lee. We did. And I, you know, I'm just looking at this open and I'm thinking, like, who are those people from like 10 years ago? <laughs> we were younger when COVID started. <laughs> We're younger and less gray. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Amazing what a year can do. I just can't believe it's been that long. Um, but then I can. And um, either in some ways it feels like at least a year. And in other ways, you're like, oh my God, that it was so fast. <laughs> I know it, it's just it's yes. a very uh, surreal. surreal feeling. That's a great word for it. Uh, but today yeah. it's Cocktail Friday, and we have something to celebrate. So yes, oh my God, we got the first pass of our manuscript edits in today. Oh my God, I think people understand what it is to make a book. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I mean, yeah. honestly. That, this is an enormous amount of work. It's a project. <laughs> it's, it's a project. 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 <laughs> but it feels really good. And, and we have 400 and I don't know, 60 pages or something. I think it's 459. Yeah. And the thing is, is that today we put in the Corona Kitchen member submission. <gasps> we did all the, everybody's recipes went in today. Now, we don't know who's all going to make the cut at the end, but they were submitted. Submitted them all. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in there. And, you know, we just, I think the overwhelming gratitude that we feel is really the overall, you know, feeling here. Because it's just like, I can't believe it sometimes. Yeah. What we've done and all of the people that supported us. When I look at all the names, there's like 177 names of people who helped mm -hmm. us do this, you know? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and even, <laughs> even if you didn't give us money, you supported us by what? Thank you anyway. <laughs> being a member or sharing. Yeah, this. being here and so, yeah. Hanging out with us. Thank you. Thanks again. So tonight we're getting ready for another night of cocktails early. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we are. <laughs> I found organic vodka at Trader Joe's. Now, see, I didn't know they had that until you told me. I was very surprised and quite happy about it. And I want to share with you what this is. So I know we always talk about Santa Fe Spirits, but let's share the love for a moment, shall we? There's another, okay. there's another company called Tumble, Tumble Root. Tumble Root. Yes. It's mm -hmm. Santa Fe, and they make vodka from sugar cane. It's 80 proof. Well, that's nice. And it looks beautiful. I mean, it's all artisanal from scratch. Um, and it's, it's local. How cool is that? Super cool. Tumble root. I'm going to try it. Never tried it. All right. All right. Well, I, I'm, I'm hoping you probably should taste it before you put it in the lemons, just so you have a taste of the vodka. Because now we're going to bastardize it. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, um, <laughs> take a shot, Lise. <laughs> you know what's happening right now? <laughs> so we're getting ready. Okay, so here here we're making this Italian liqueur, which you know it's it, Italians have been making it for generations. Um, uh, I often make it and, and then give it away at Christmas, but we thought it might be fun to have it for the summer for like lemon martinis and, you know, summer drinks. So I haven't ever had limoncello and we're making arancello, which is the orange version of it. So that's mm -hmm. super cool. I've never had that. Yeah. But um, limoncello is a staple of Southern Italy. And uh, the last time I was down there, um, I mean, you have it at every meal. It's so refreshing and light mm -hmm. and wonderful. 
Um, and it's just, you know, everybody's got their secret methods and all the stuff and, you yeah. know, and it's so easy to make. You shouldn't have to buy it. You can, it's so fun. Just, just make it. I have not, I'm not, I don't know if I've had potato vodka. I was under the assumption that vodka was only made from potatoes. However, I am finding out that is not the case because this Trader Joe's vodka is made from organic yellow corn. This is a revelation to me. This is made from sugarcane. And then I saw another brand in there today that was made. I almost got it. I don't know if you saw it. It was organic also. And it was made from grapes. Isn't that wine? Vodka from grapes. I was like, what? Okay. Explain. Who knew? <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, so this is all you need. A big jar. <laughs> got it. 80 to 100 proof vodka. I got it. <laughs> and organic lemons, or in my case, orange. And here they are. Da, 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 da. I've got 10 lemons in a lemon colored bowl. There you go. Now, here's the deal. So many people have said that it you, you have to let it set for at least four days. Some people let it have said a week is fine. And other people say a month. My mom, Franny, is of the month classification. That's the only way I've ever done it, is a month. I can't imagine that the flavor would be enough less than that, personally. Um, I think if you do it less than that, it's because you really need it. <laughs> I need some limoncello, okay? I must have the limoncello. <laughs> but if you do it tonight, or tomorrow, or this weekend, and you wait a month, it'll be perfect spring timing. That's right. So you can put it on ice cream. It, it's, it would be delicious. Now look, I'm doing the lemon, um, the peel and trying to keep most of the pith off of it. I need to see what you're doing. So no pith, it's only the colored portion um, yeah, you don't want the white part. Yes, no white part. Okay, got it. Or as little as you can get in, in the, you know. I have to say, this Cuisinart, or no, it's a KitchenAid um, peeler is one of the best peelers I've ever had. So you're peeling the entire thing, and how many of these are we going to do? And then you're just putting it in the jar? Yeah, I'm just putting the um the right. peels in the jar. You guys did a good job. Look. What? Oh, that's great. Nice. Okay. I'm putting it and in. Then, and then all you do is add the vodka on top, and then you put it in a cool place and let it sit in every, you know, every day or so. Shake it up. And then you're going to strain it into a pretty bottle. Um, And... the and you're gonna add, well, actually, I would, I guess I would strain it into a bowl first and add some simple syrup. So, you know, some of that can depend on how sweet you want it, but like for a bottle of vodka this big, I would probably do um, one to one simple syrup, like a, a cup to a cup. Okay. So are you going to do some kind of um, flavoring with herbs or something with your simple syrup, or what do you think you're going to do? Well, I was thinking, you know, with the lemon, even with the orange, it would be really like a nice flavor to add would be um, basil mm. to add that to it or ginger Yeah, um, if you wanted to. Now... Looking up cocktails the other day, I remembered this um, alcohol called Benedictine. Do you, re do you know that alcohol? I remember that. And um, it was really popular for, I don't know, a long time. But it's uh, it's an alcohol that's like, uh, it's got a brandy base, I think, and it's got like 27 herbs that go into it. Wow. Some proprietary, you know, kinds of herbs. Wow. And I think honey. So... I only say that to, to tell you that the only limit to what you might add to it is your imagination. 
<laughs> I mean, part of me, I have this incredible wildflower honey that's local, and part of me wants to put that in it. Is that possible? That would be really cool. Yeah. So the thing about the herbs, though, is what I how I would do it is I would infuse the simple syrup with the herbs. I wouldn't necessarily let the herbs sit in the vodka. I agree. I agree. So we all, everybody remembers how to make simple that. syrup. You don't do that until the end. Correct. After it's after this is. Um, ex extracted basically all of the citrus flavor okay. from you know from the peel so you're talking about a month from now yes because i'm gonna do a month i'm gonna do a okay month. Yeah. yeah no i i am too so we could That's do a reveal together on the show yeah we could do the limoncello reveal part two <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so generally you use about seven or, or so, uh, lemons or oranges. Okay. There. I have large lemons. So these are not Meyer lemons, they're regular. So I think I'm gonna do, uh, you know, maybe I'm gonna do eight. Okay. You know, it's not like, this is one of those peasant family recipes. It's not like, there's no if you add more, more lemon peel, it's gonna be bad. Right. <laughs> There's no exact science. One, two, three, four, five. These are, the other thing I want to say is like organic vodka is a new phenomenon. That's not nor, like a, that's that hasn't been around forever. But true. I want to say it is important to um, use organic lemon or organic orange. Yes. Because you are extracting right out of the peel. That's right. And you don't want to be extracting pesticides into I your... I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Let's not do that. Oh, this one's pithy. I don't like so that. People put wax and stuff. You know, they put wax and different things on commercially um, grown stuff, conventional. So yeah. you have to be... That's another reason. Um, yeah, you really want to get as clean a fruit as possible. Yeah. I'm just so grateful you can find organic vodka. That is the coolest thing ever. I was shocked when you sent that to me. I, I was completely <laughs> happy to see that. So if you get, you know, pith on your, um, you know, that comes off to, this peel for some reason got too much pith, I'm just going to run my knife along the edge okay. and pull off some of that pith. My healer is not allowing me to get pith and i'm very i'm very happy about it well that's cool i it was just this one orange everything else was going swimmingly <laughs> and then you and then i got the dastardly orange then you happened okay it can uh, happen one, nine, one two three four five six seven am i on the last one i'm gonna do one more that was oh, good i could do ten <laughs> that and, you know, I'm much, here's my question. If you add more, do, can you use less time? You know, we're, we're kind of uh, flying by the seat of our pants here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who to ask. It wouldn't be the first time, Debriana. <laughs> I certainly would be the first time. Um, and I'm just looking forward to cocktails later with this. <laughs> it's going to be so yummy. How much is this going to make? Well, whatever the amount of the vodka is, really, plus plus the sugar water. So it doesn't evaporate or anything? No, it shouldn't. Okay. I mean, you should have it closed pretty tight. Okay. So, and you know, can... it'll be whatever your vodka bottle is amount. And you're going to put it in the closet? Yeah. It, yeah, and it, I'll put it in my closet. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going to do 10. <laughs> Why not? I bought a whole bag. <laughs> well, then the question becomes, what do you do uh, with the leftover lemons? <laughs> <laughs> well, I use so many lemons in everything, but this is a lot. Of well, here's, here's what you could do if you wanted. You could um, 
juice them and then put the juice into an ice cube tray and then have cubes of frozen lemon juice in your freezer Ooh. that's fresh. Oh, wow. That's a great idea. That way you don't, you know, lose it. I thought you were going to say this. I thought you were going to say, take the juice and make simple syrup out of the juice, not water. Oh, hmm. no, I don't know if that would work. <laughs> You're like, but, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know if it would work. It might be worth trying. I mean, I don't know. I, I just... It just can you have, can you have too much lemon? It's a question. <laughs> I don't know if you can. It would be tart, but I don't know. Well, the whole thing gets balanced with the sugar, so right. you might have to add more sugar or sweetener, whatever you're going to use. Okay, I'm done. I did ten. Awesome. <laughs> I've done it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Ten lemons. Okay. What about those special orangey lemons? What are they called? Oh, Meyer lemons. lemons. We, yeah, we talked about that the other day, remember? Yep. So is this, is this the right eight. amount? Look, this is how much I've got. Yeah, that's going to be about what I have. I have I'm going to do eight uh, oranges. I did ten. Now the fun part comes. Pour the vodka in the Pour the vodka on it. <laughs> Everyone can do this. <laughs> it's just so easy. And it's such a great gift. Like at the holiday times, it's yeah, so nice. That's the, my favorite thing to do with it. And I have to tell you, um, my mom loves to make these fun liqueurs, you know. To have yeah, I mean, I thought about making um, creme de cacao today. <laughs> But that's even more boring than this. You know what we should do sometime is if we had cherries, maybe this summer we'll do like a cherry liqueur. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that would be good. That'd be good. Well, I, it was it, it was interesting that the creme de cacao you use uh, cocoa nibs and you let it sit and then add the sugar. And I I thought, wow, that would be fun to do. I would love to do that. I smell like. Someone has a seventh generation cleaner right now. Oh, you poured it? You poured I it? did. Okay, I'm doing it. Look how pretty. Did you do the whole bottle? Oh, yeah. I did the whole bottle. Okay, here it goes. 80 proof. Awesome sauce. Ooh, oh, wow. This smells really good. I'm going to just taste it. It already smells good. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, these artisanal vodkas. And gins, and all so lovely. What people are putting into doing this in a really delicious way. Wow, beautiful. That's so cool. my vodka says that this has hints of melon and pear. Um, on so I think this will be a nice vodka with the lemon. I mean, with the orange. This is great. I'm very excited right now about this. It also turns a beautiful color. So it will be orange and it will be yellow. Yeah. And you can. And that's it, my friends. <laughs> you could put it with spritz when it's done and all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, mint would. Maybe a, a mint simple syrup would be good. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about for this summer. <laughs> we'll see you in a month. We'll see you in a month. See you in a month. <laughs> oh my god! So, thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. I hope people try it and and make some concoctions. And if you make it, take a picture and post it. We'd love to see it. Um, I can't wait oh, yeah. to try this. This is going to be great. I know. Okay, here, here's your stuff. Our Instagram account is growing. We'd love to have you join us. And also, we'd love to have you join our, uh, this one of my favorite political groups is Demcast. They do a call every Tuesday. And we talk about the important issues of the day and how we or are going to organize and get stuff done. So I, uh, it's a great group of people. I really hope that, that um, I'm encouraging some of you to join. Thank you, everybody.
And please. Uh, so what, David doesn't get a cocktail tonight? <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. Oh, David's already had one. I have, I have oh, one. okay. Don't, don't don't worry. He's already had okay. his Manhattan. Okay. But thank you for worrying about him. <laughs> Much appreciated. He was outside uh, make, building fence today, so he deserved an early cocktail. Building fence, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> yes, and, and I'm going to make him a, a, a shrimp pesto pizza for dinner. Mm. Speaking of pizza, I'm making Debrina's pizza dough tonight. Yay! You've never had it. You could go in the search bar um, on the Corona Kitchen Facebook page and you can. It's so it. easy. But it's also going to be in the cookbook. Yay! <laughs> it's on Amazon, by the way. If we haven't said that before, you can pre order it on Amazon. So. Yes, that time we ate our feelings. That's our book. <laughs> That's our book. That's our book. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody, have a great weekend and be safe. Be well. Get your shot. Wear a mask. Hey, I, I'm going to go see the Frida Kahlo Diego Rivera exhibit tomorrow. That's Although I am vaccinated, I will be wearing my mask. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I really want to go to that. Yeah, I'm very excited that we get to go and and um and actually do something that feels somewhat normal. Yay. Thank you, everybody. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Manj.